Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a CCNA 2012 video practice exam, and if you happen to be watching this even in the year 2013, believe me, it is still a valid exam. Very quick note about my Udemy video boot camp. Some are free, some are paid, and they are all fantastic. Over 5,000 of you are in these courses now, and I thank you for that. And I've also got an audio special here I want to mention very quickly. You see on the screen, you can save $20 on my CCNA video boot camp with the coupon code TONG. Right now, we're in the middle of our Amazon grand opening, and while the video boot camp for the CCNA is not on Amazon right now, I'm going to give you a special deal on that as well. If you use the coupon code AMAZON during the week of September 17th, 2012, it's going to take 30 bucks off the cost, so I urge you to check that out now. So I've only done that once in seven years, and I wasn't planning on doing it again until my CCNAs got all mad at me because the CCMPs were getting all the benefits on Amazon, getting all the deals. So go ahead, please, and check that out on Udemy.com, and I've got plenty of free courses out there for you as well. Now, in today's video practice exam and lab, we're going to be on a live Cisco router here very shortly, and it's one that I've done a little pre-configuring on. I have enabled these five passwords and enable password, and enable secret, an aux password, a console line password, and a VTY line password. Now we're going to come back to this question format for the video practice exams probably for the next week as you got to know your passwords inside and out uh, to nail the CCNA exam and of course that's what it's all about. But today's questions, and I have two of them for you, the first one is by default which, if any, of these passwords is going to be encrypted? And question two, actually let's make this three questions. If I wanted to encrypt the rest of the passwords, how could I do that with one command? So I kind of called an audible on myself there. So again, those questions, if any, which of these passwords are encrypted by default? And secondly, what single command will encrypt the rest of them? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and bring the live equipment up, and even if you think you know the answer to this one, stick around because I've got a very important real-world pointer here for you today as well. So again, do not take the passwords that I've used here uh, as an example of what you should do in the workplace, but going from top to bottom, let's check out the enable secret and enable passwords first, and as you can see, there's a whole string of characters after enable secret here, and enable password is sitting there by itself. Now the enable secret, excuse me, the enable secret password is encrypted by default. And one thing here I've caught some people trying to do over the years, don't try to enter this as the password itself. It's not going to work. This is the encrypted representation of the enable secret password that you put in. So, so far we see one particular password that's encrypted by default. Where are the other passwords in the config? They're going to be down at the bottom. Your enable password, secret and or password are going to be up at the top of the config. And your line con, your line aux, and your line VTYs, they're all going to be down here. And notice that I only put the password Cisco on one line. Generally, you're going to put it on all of your VTY lines. So if you notice that, that's a good catch. You'll also notice that none of these passwords are encrypted. So by default, the only one of these passwords that's encrypted is enable secret. Now, how we can make these all encrypted is to actually run this particular command. First conf T would be helpful. I've got a new setup here on my desk, so yeah, that's a good excuse. Service, and we have all kinds of services we can run, and please do not panic. You do not have to know all of these uh, for your CCNA exam, but one I would definitely know is password encryption. So what we're doing is enabling a service here. Well, let's just do a quick save on that. Then we're going to take a look at the config. Now do you think all of those passwords we were looking at will be encrypted now? Because we were looking at just one, but will that one command encrypt all of these passwords? Let's go ahead and call the line, call the equipment back up. And you can see right here that it did encrypt the enable password. What about our other ones? They are encrypted as well. That is a pretty cool command. Again, that service password encryption 
And actually a couple of real world notes here. I know I promised you one, but I'm going to give you two when we get up to the top here. Uh, actually, I need to come down from that. Yep. Be really careful when you're looking at your configs here at the top to see which services are turned off and on. And that goes for your timestamps as well. Because it's really easy to look at this and gloss over and say, okay, no service password encryption. Because that's what you're used to seeing, but it actually says service password encryption. So again, this is your default no service password encryption. Just make sure on the exam and in the real world when you're trying to figure something out that you just don't gloss past that and misread it. The other thing I want to mention to you is this particular encryption scheme is really weak. It is easily broken. You could go on the net and get something to break this in less than a minute. And that's no underground secret. Cisco even tells you in their documentation uh, that the cipher that is used for this particular encryption is easily broken today. Uh, what it is, it's a great defense against people casually or not so casually looking over your shoulder. We actually call it the over the shoulder network attack. Um, they can't just look over your shoulder and say, oh, okay, well, his telnet password is CCNA. Uh, if they look at this, they're not going to know what it is. But again, this should not be your only line of defense. Uh, as Cisco puts it. So you definitely want to check that out and check out my new video practice exams coming up as well. We're going to work with those passwords more often. And we've also got some free ebooks coming to Amazon for your Kindle, Kindle app. We're going to have them on the iPad as well. We're going to be all over the place. We're in the middle of that expansion right now. And I thank you for that because without you, we definitely would not be expanding. I am Chris Bryant. Thanks so much for watching today's CCNA video practice exam.